Hi everyone, this is Christina, and in this quick demo, I'm going to quickly go over the demo I did a couple of days ago during the launch stream. This one's going to be a deeper dive into the things I didn't cover during the launch stream. And for those of you who were not there, what I did is I created a small bot on top of a very resource limited Raspberry Pi, which takes in user inputs through microphone and then gives output through speaker. All the questions that the user asks are passed to a Red Panda service cluster running on the cloud. This gets picked up by an inference applications running in the center hub, which interacts with OpenAI and MongoDB, which is our vector store, and then sends the answers back to the Raspberry Pi. That was the basic idea. As you can see, there are two major parts where I deploy my applications. One is the Raspberry Pi itself. The other one is the center hub where I have the inference application running. I also have an assignment application. The reason why I have the assignment application is that this is a very simple web app, by the way. And when I was designing this demo, I was thinking about hundreds and thousands of devices connecting to Red Panda cluster. It's probably not the best idea to have all of them consuming from the same topic. And it's probably not so good to assign a topic to every single device. So what I'm doing here is just to group them into specific topic. For every devices, when it boots up, it will first ask the assignment application which topics to listen for the answers. But in this demo, I just kind of hard-coded back to the same topic. But in real life use case, you probably want to be more specific about locations, resource, load, and other factors to group your device. The first part of the demo was pretty simple. Every time the Raspberry Pi starts up, it interacts with the assignment applications. And I created a very simple Rependa Connect pipeline where when it's called, it talks to the HTTP endpoint of my assignment applications and then store the assigned topic into a file as a cache resource. The reason why I'm storing it in the file is that other application that needs to know about the assigned topics can access it. So this pipeline can be run every single time when you restart your device or whenever you think it needs reassignment. Now let's get to the more fun part of actually interacting with OpenAI. So on my device, I've installed an MQTT server with two channels. One is getting inputs from the microphone and the other one just tell the speaker what to say. I also have a stream application and installed a very small model called Fast and Whisper. This model transcribes whatever I say into text. The model works by breaking down my speech into segments and then transcribe each segment into text chunks. For a single sentence, it could be divided into four or five segments depending on its length. I'm gonna go ahead and kickstart the demo. Now I'm starting to record and it will transcribe whatever I said and uh, hopefully you'll see how it's been broken down and that's it, let's end this recording. So as you can see that now one single question can be turned into multiple text chunks. I could stream all these text chunks from my MQTT server to the topics in Red Panda, but you know, for scalability issues and reasons, it's better for us to pre-process the information before we send it over to the center hub. So I, I have, I created a ledge pipeline here. In this case, I'm using Red Panda Connect again. I like it because it's super lightweight. It doesn't take up a lot of resource. It doesn't, it doesn't strain my hardware, which is perfect for running on small devices like this. So what it does is that it buffers and aggregates text within 30 seconds time frame, and then reassembles it into a complete sentence and then sends it back to the central hub. And it also includes assigned topics, so the application in Central Hub will know where to send the answers back to. So let's go ahead to the Central Hub. So in that, I have a simple inference application that uses LangChain to interact with AI models. LangChain is just a framework that allows you to put together all the components needed for interacting with AI models. So my inference application search, uh, searches MongoDB for similar information and then send the questions with the search result as the context to OpenAI for more refined answers. This is what we call RAG. So after that, the inference application then checks the assigned topics and then send the answers back to that specific topic along with a device ID. So this device ID ensures that each device receives the correct answers. So I have another pipeline installed on my Raspberry Pi, also using Rependa Connect. It listens from the service topics and then filters the answers based on the device ID before relaying it back to the MQTT channel for the speaker application to pick up. 
All right, let's go ahead and then kickstart the pipeline and see if this works. We're going to start by starting the talk Python application, which tells the speaker what to say. And then we're going to start the talk pipeline, which is streaming all the information from the service platform and filters out the messages that is not the same as our device ID. And then we're going to head over to the service platform and go to the responses topic. And here we're just going to manually input a message. Test, can you hear me talking? And there you go. The speaker actually speaks what we said. And then we're going to go ahead and then input another message, but this time with a different device ID. And see, there's nothing that's coming back and we know the pipeline works. Now the real deal, where we're actually getting answers officially from the OpenAI model and through our Edge device. I'm going to go ahead and then get started with connecting my MQTT broker to the serverless platform by starting up my Edge pipeline, the one that does the aggregations and pre-processing of all the speech text. And then I'm going to go to the central hub where I'm starting up my inference application, which is the LangChain application that talks to OpenAI. Now, question time. Where is the capital city of United States? Now you can see it's transcribing whatever I said to the pipeline and the pipeline aggregates everything and sends it over to the serverless. As you can see, once it's transcribed, everything just runs super fast through serverless and the inference applications. The capital city of the United States is Washington, DC. Now I'm gonna go ahead and ask another question. Where is the capital city of Japan? And this time let's head over to the service platform and we can take a look at all the topics. As you can see, the prompt topics will now have all the aggregated questions that has been put together through my pipeline. Capital city of Japan is Tokyo. Dot. As well as the response top. Now the answers has come back. Last but not least, let's just want to do one more question. The same question I asked in the live stream. What is Apple intelligence? Answer me in just one sentence. Apple intelligence is a new personalized AI system integrated into Apple devices to enhance user experience, similar to Microsoft's Copilot, without requiring an additional fee. As you can see, I get my information back right away. And there you go. That concludes my demo. And this is a quick overview of what we have just walked you through. And there's a link to my GitHub repository in the link down below. And don't forget to subscribe and happy streaming. See you next time.